Chapter 2871, Unjustifiable Dispute, 2. After Han Xiu was questioned by Jun Wuxi, she was at a loss. She didn't know what was inappropriate. Her instinct made her stand up to stop this. It was almost subconsciously that Han Xiu turned to Ju An Shi for help. Du An Shi unconsciously frowned her brows. To be honest, whoever Jun Wuxi had chosen today she would not be satisfied. Especially Yan Sai, definitely not her. After receiving Han Xiu's gaze for help. Du An she couldn't help feeling a little displeased. She had provided Han Xiu with so many opportunities. But how could Han Xiu not even win Yan Sai? However, Du An she herself was quite judgmental towards Yan Sai. Naturally, she did not want to see things end up this way. She immediately got up and said, I think Yan Zai is not blessed to receive the good intentions of Lord Yan. Yan Zai had been ordered by his lord this morning. She has been assigned to the Lord Jun Gun served him for many years. The Sacred Maiden tribe cannot make the decision if Lord Yan is to leave now. After all, Yan Zai is now serving Lord Jun Gu. Oh? Jun Wuxi raised her eyebrows slightly. She knew that things would not be that simple. But since she's Lord Jun Gu's, why was it when I asked earlier if I could pick any woman present here today, I was informed that it was up to me to choose. Elder Duan had answered this pretty decisively. Duan she hesitated a little. She realized that Jun Wuxi had just asked this to block her retreat, putting her in a difficult position. Duan she could only hold up her head and said, this is my mistake. Lord Jun Gu and the maiden had just married. It's natural that Yan Zai should not disturb them. This is why she came here. I have missed this and didn't notice her coming here. Duan she shifted the responsibility directly to Yan Zai, not giving Yan Zai any chance to explain herself. She immediately raised her face and said, Yan Sai, you shouldn't have disturbed Lord Jun Gu and the maiden today. You shouldn't be here. It's okay to stay peacefully in the room. It is such an important occasion, how can an outsider like you join us? Would you leave soon? Yan Sai widened her eyes and watched Du An. She clasped the responsibilities on her head. She secretly clenched her teeth. Today, she didn't plan to come here at all. It was Du An Shi who was too skeptical. She was forced to be here as she was afraid that she would mess up Han Zifi's marriage. And now, Du An Shi pushed all the blame to her. How could such a ridiculous thing happen? Exclamation mark. Yan Zai's only hatred was the marriage between Jun Gu and Han Zifi. Now she was blamed for being an outsider by Du An Chi. The anger in her heart could not help burning. Furthermore, when she saw Han Xiu's malevolent gaze at her, she got more furious. It was not her fault to be chosen by Jun Wuxi. Why did Du An Chi and Han Xiu demonstrate hatred in their expressions towards her? This had nothing to do with her. The anger in Yan Zai's heart was about to erupt. After much consideration, she knew that she was in trouble with today's incident and had gained no benefit from it. She could only hold back her anger, stood up, and lowered her head. With a look of hatred, she pretended to be calm and said, Sorry for my impoliteness tonight, Yan Zai shall make a move first. After saying that, she just wanted to leave. But as soon as Yan Zai stepped out of her position, a hand blocked Yan Zai's departure. Wait. Jun Wuxi suddenly said, Chapter 2872, Unjustifiable Dispute, 3. Jun Wuxi raised her hand to block Yan Zai's way. For a moment, Everyone present was shocked. Han Xiu was even more anxious. Seeing Yan Zai was about to get out of the way, how could Jun Wuxi stop her from leaving? Yan Zai was equally surprised. When she looked up at Jun Wuxi, she saw a pair of extremely bright and clear eyes of a handsome looking yet not so outstanding looking young man. Those eyes did not match his looks, but they were good looking. If Yan Zai's heart hadn't liked and contained someone, this pair of eyes and Jun Wuxi's dual spirit ring capabilities would definitely have attracted and moved her heart. Lord Yan? Yan Zai didn't know what she was thinking, all of a sudden, she changed her cold attitude and looked sadly at Jun Wuxi. It was Yan Zai's fault to let down Lord Yan's love. It's just that Yan Zai has been following Lord Jun Gu, now it is. Yan Zai was very clear that even though she had the intention to cling on to Jun Wuxi, she was still the servant of Jun Gu after all. She has no freedom to do so. 
Given the fact that Jungu was married and Jun Wuxi's admiration towards her, it wasn't a tough decision to make after all. Even though Jun Wuxi had not reached that high status like Jungu, with her dual spirit ring capabilities, it was destined that Jun Wuxi would not be any small fry. Big accomplishments and higher status awaited her. Han Xiu stared at Yan Zai's behavior, imagining herself tearing her clothes. Beach. How dare she seduce Lord Yan publicly? Jun Wuxi noticed Yan Zai's subtle change in behavior. She turned her eyes calmly as she looked at the tense Du An Shi and said, Elder Du An, whatever the reason that Yan Zai is here today, I chose her and nothing can change it. Since you said that she is the servant of Lord Jungu, can I just get permission from Lord Jungu for this? Du An Shi froze completely. She didn't expect that Jun Wuxi really liked Yan Zai so much. Despite facing the risk of stealing people from Jungu, she still wanted to get Yan Zai. This was really beyond Du An Shi's expectations. She thought that Jun Wuxi was just playing around at the moment. She thought that Jun Wuxi's interest would stop and she could choose another person. But never did she think that it. Jun Wuxi really planned to look for Jun Gu to ask for someone. However, all had been said. She stated that she has no right to interfere with Yan Zai's future. It was not so simple to change her mind at this moment. This Du An she was a little embarrassed for a while, but Han Xiu could not stand it anymore. She could not control herself and endure anymore. She rushed forward and slapped Yan Zai fiercely in front of Jun Wuxi. Half of Yan Zai's face was flushed with redness. Beach. How can there be such a shameless beach like you in the world? You have been with Lord Jung for many years. Who knows if your body is still clean? A dirty person like you still has the guts to hook up men everywhere. Is it that you want to frame Lord Yan? You must solicit the relationship between Lord Yan and Lord Jung. You must die a violent death. Han Xiu pointed at Yan Sai, yelling continuously. Han Xiu's gorgeous face was covered with cursing and distortion. She won't let anyone snatch Lord Yan, no one will. Yan Sai was slapped by Han Xiu. She covered her face with one hand, and felt a touch of sticky wetness on her palm. Han Xiu's slap had scratched her face with her nails. Chapter 2873 Unjustifiable Dispute for Yan Zai stared at Han Xiu in disbelief. Unexpectedly, this woman who had spoken to form an alliance with her previously would become so ruthless now. She saw the jealousy in Han Xiu's eyes, and that hatred was no less than that of Han Zifi's. At this moment, Yan Zai was completely awake. The alliance between her and Han Xiu ended here. Regardless if she would be taken away by Jun Wuxi today, Han Xiu hated her the same. The fast changing relation from an ally to an enemy had made Yan Zai understand how dark Han Xiu's heart was. But Yan Zai did not intend to end it here. There was a hint of viciousness in Yan Zai's eyes. A mist of water was brewing in her eyes. She raised her head pitifully, looked at Jun Wuxi resentfully, and her lips trembled slightly. Lord Yan. The soft voice passed into Han Xiu's ears, making Han Xiu raise her hand again. But with this slap, Han Xiu failed. Jun Wuxi grabbed Han Xiu's wrist and stopped her. Lord Yan, you don't be fooled by this slut. She is not a good person at all. Why do you protect her like this? Han Xiu looked at Jun Wuxi with a grieving expression on her face. Jun Wuxi said nothing, throwing away Han Xiu's arms with a cold face. This simple move made Han Xiu's face turn pale. Yan Sai, pretending to be pitiful, hid behind Jun Wuxi and looked at Han Xiu with a proud and provocative look. That look almost made Han Xiu crazy again. Yan Zai, you shameless thing. You were just a humble slut in the Sacred Maiden tribe. If you didn't deliberately please Elder Luo and begged her to teach you witchcraft to get the attention of his lord. You desired to climb higher, begging Elder Luo, begging his lord and Lord Jun Gu. Now, you are still trying to seduce Lord Yan. You beach you will die a violent death. Han Xiu smashed all the hatred on Yan Zai and wanted to grab and scratch Yan Zai's face. While Yan Zai pretended to be hiding behind Jun Wuxi in shock, she looked proudly at Han Xiu. Du An Shi watched the fuss that was about to stage in front of her. For the reputation of the Sacred Maiden tribe, she could no longer sit back and watch. She rushed out and pulled Han Xiu aside who was insane and scolded, 
you had enough, what do you look like now? You can afford to lose this person. But the sacred maiden tribe can't afford to let you be so disgraceful. Do you aren't she's yelling maid hands you find her rational. Looking at the proud Yan's eye standing behind June Wuxi, her heart was thrown into the flame of jealousy. Looking at Du Aun she, she cried and said, Elder Du Aun, you have to decide for me. Elder Juan, you don't know what kind of person Yan Zai is. She is the one doing harm to Lord Yan. You shut up. Juan, she's good temper is now flushed with anger by this fuss. She scolded Han Xiu and immediately looked up at Jun Wuxi, but her mind was extremely complicated. If she could, she hoped Han Xiu would be chosen. But who could imagine that the person turned out to be Yan Zai? Looking at Jun Wuxi siding Yan Zai, Du An she had no idea at this time. She could only pray that Jun Wuxi would not really go to Jun Gu and that Jun Gu would not let Yan Zai go. Chapter 2874, Unjustifiable Dispute, 5 Lord Yan, I'm really sorry. Du An she said in embarrassment. Jun Wuxi shook her head and did not seem to further pursue the matter. Han Xiu also wanted to say something. But she was stared by Ju An Chi. She could only watch Yan Zai's provocative eyes and clench her teeth. This regarding Yan Zai, we really can't make the decision, and if Lord Yan really wants to go to Lord Jun Gu, it's not appropriate at this moment, after all. Lord Jungu is accompanying his maiden right now Du An Shi's words were not finished. Two figures suddenly appeared at the entrance of the hall. This banquet is so strange today. On such a good occasion, why are you all frowning? Can't bear to marry me off. Han Zifi's voice echoed like thunder in the ears of Du An Shi and others. Du An Shi quickly turned around and saw that Han Zifi and Jung walked into the banquet side by side. Han Zifi's smiley eyes swept around in the hall. Du An Shi was already annoying enough. But it turned out that these two actually came here to have fun. And for a while they didn't know what to do. Huh? What's the matter? Han Xiu, you looked fierce enough to kill someone. Han Zifi glanced at the face of Han Xiu and said kindly. Han Xiu gave a fierce glance at Han Zifi and did not dare to speak. It was Han Zifi's gaze that turned towards Yan Sai, who was hiding behind Jun Wuxi. Her eyebrows raised slightly. In the good show arranged by their own daughter, they were not able to watch the whole show. But they got Jun Wuxi's words when they parted. Now that they arrived at this hour, Han Zifi didn't know what Jun Wuxi wanted to do. However, looking at Han Xiu who was jealous, and the poor half-faced Yan Zai hiding behind Jun Wuxi. What else did Han Zifi not understand? Suddenly, Han Zifi's behavior towards her own daughter was clear. She couldn't help looking at Jun Wuxi's disguise and kept laughing. With one hand, instigating alienation, this was really brilliant. No wonder Jun Wuxi said that she would handle Yan Zai. Now that she had already set up a trap, and she was waiting for Yan Zai to drill in, watching the incident. She needed to help her own daughter. Han Zifi looked at Yan Zai in surprise and said, Oh, what's the matter? How can a beautiful woman like this be treated? This slap mark. The fiery five fingerprints look so distressing. The atmosphere in the hall became strange after what Han Zifi had said. Du An Shi's face turned even more ugly. However, Han Zifi didn't intend to stop here. She turned to look at the mute Jung like she had found something and said, Husband, look. This little beauty who was beaten was your servant previously right? I remember. Is she called Yan Zai? She seemed to have come from our sacred maiden tribe. Jung got the hint of his beautiful wife, and immediately looked at Yan Zai in cooperation, frowning lightly, Yan Zai, what's wrong with your face? Previously Yan Zai was fighting with Han Xiu, she deliberately offered good wishes to Jun Wuxi. Now that she saw Jun Gu, her heart flew back to him again. Yan Zai was already crying when Jun Gu inquired about her. She couldn't say anything about her grievances and she was already crying. Chapter 2875, Hooked, 1. Lord that pathetic voice really made people's bones crisp. Though Han Zifi had a smile on her face, she no longer had a smile shown in her eyes. She secretly pinched Jun Gu's waist and secretly blamed him for being unfaithful. Look. Someone is relating her grievance to you, begging you to uphold justice. Han Zifi glared at Jungu. Jungu was pinched hard on his waist but he did not feel any pain or itch. However, 
It was Han Ziffy's eyes that were filled with scorn that made him nervous and he tried to explain himself quickly. But he received another hint from Han Ziffy. So for the time being, he put aside the thought of asking forgiveness from his wife. He looked at Yang Xi seriously and said, What the hell is going on? Yan Zai intended to talk about her grievances. But Du An she would not let her speak. Instead she replied, Misunderstandings. It's all misunderstandings. Today is the big day for Lord Yan to choose a beauty. But I did not expect that I would be here and blessed to win the favor of Lord Yan. Have I just created some trouble? Yan Zai was originally Lord Jungu's person and now that I have let Lord Yan and Lord Jungu, how should it? Du An she had been trying hard to minimize the issues and disputes. She completely ignored the incident that Yan Zai was slapped. Instead, she chose to mention that Yan Zai intentionally attended the banquet to seduce Jun Wuxi. Jun Gu frowned. But Han Zifi sneered, Oh, how could I not know that this Yan Zai is my husband's person although the tone was light, any fool could hear Han Zifi's dissatisfaction. Look at the butterflies you have attracted. Jun Gu quickly explained himself, No, no Yan Zai was the person assigned by his lord to help me to familiarize with the surroundings when I first became a knight of destruction. So the manner of saying that she is my person, is not appropriate. Wife, please hear my explanation. Since his lord has given her to you, why is she still not yours? Now Yan Zai is fancied by Lord Yan, why? Unwilling to give away? Hands if he raised an eyebrow slightly, I would deal with you when I head back. Do what's best for your girl. My lady is teasing me. Yan Zai and I have purely master and servant relations. There's definitely nothing going on between us. Since Lord Yan fancies Yan Zai, I will congratulate him. Junga smiled, I'll do it. Han Zifi and Junga were arguing like a newlywed couple. At the same moment, Yan Zai's identity and relationship with Junga had been cut clean. Now that Junga has given his approval and promised to marry Yan Zai to Jun Wuxi, this time, Du An, she really had no choice. Han Xiu stared like she lost her soul. She couldn't believe the rare opportunity that she had been waiting for was snatched before her. The most shocking was Yan Sai. She looked at the loving scene of Jun Gu and Han Zifi. Her heart was feeling complicated. She was not foolish enough not to hear Jun Gu's intentions. Thinking of her devotion towards him, was so neglected by Jun Gu. How could he just give her away so easily? The trace of love in her heart turned into hatred between these complex emotions. Yan Zai subconsciously turned her head to look at Jun Wuxi. She stood in front of her, a flame at this moment quietly ignited in her heart. As far as his current status was concerned, the young man in front of her may not be better than Lord Jun Gu, but his strength of the dual spirit ring was the most valuable stake. Yan Zai was very clear that as long as Lord Yan was given more time, there would be great achievements. Chapter 2876, Hooked her. She could not have Jun Gu. On the other hand if she treasures Lord Yan's admiration towards her, she may not be inferior compared to Han Zifi in the future. Yan Zai's eyes were ignited with ambition. She looked at Jun Wuxi as if looking at a big tree that could help her step on Han Zifi and Jun Gu under her feet. Since the Lord Gu has granted her, then this mattered you and she no longer wanted to bother about this. The only good news is, although Yan Zai was not the most suitable person, she is a member of the Sacred Maiden tribe. If Jun Wuxi has Yan Zai, the remaining baby girls in the future can still remain in the Sacred Maiden tribe, and they are very likely to become maidens. Thank you Lord Jun Gu. Jun Wuxi raised her hand and thanked him. Jun Gu cleared his throat and pretended to look at Jun Wuxi coldly. Even though this is the case, it still depends on Yan Zai's will. Oh, Lord Yan is so outstanding. Who in the world would dislike you? Han Zifi sneered. His girl must be the best in the world. Chop up anyone who dislikes her. Junga pretended to helplessly glanced at Han Zifi. Yes, yes, our best girl. But on the surface, he still pretended to be just and fair to Yan Zai, Yan Zai. What do you think about this? Yan Zai looked at the man whom she had been obsessed with for years and looked at Han Zifi standing next to him, and looked at Jun Wuxi standing in front of herself. That last trace of love was covered up by her ambition. She pretended coquettishly and said, What will Yan Zai have? It is thanks to my lord and lord Yan that I can be favored by lord Yan. I am already fortunate enough, 
I dare not ask for more. This was her answer. That's good. Junga nodded. This was enough to act along with Han Ziffy's tricks. At this moment, Junga approved. Yamzai was willing, and the whole matter naturally came to an end. Even if Du An she was reluctant, she could only stay with her smile. After all, she did not want to offend either Junga or Jun Wuxi. Throughout the banquet, the most desperate person was Han Xiu. She watched her last chance slip away from her fingertips, looking at Yan Zai who had snatched everything from her, with a smile on her face, and her hatred almost drowned her. Lord Yan, since my lord has granted you, I will be yours in the future. But I have unfinished work with my lord, please give me a few days grace. Yan Zai's heart had both joy and sadness. She did not forget the key. Her eyes slipped over the copper ball around Junga's waist, her eyes darkened slightly. Previously, his lord asked her to follow beside Junga to control his consciousness with rhino horns. Now that Junga got married and Yan Zai had already obtained the will of his lord to hand over this law, Han Ziffy, it would be more convenient for her to control Junga in the future. Yan Zai was not willing to do this before. Now she was very fortunate. In this way, she could have more opportunities. Instead of watching Han Ziffy and Junga showing off their affection. Good. Of course, Jun Wuxi had no other words. Yan Zai nodded cleverly, covering the half of her scratched face, and retreated gracefully. Junga and Han Ziffy exchanged a look, and also found a reason to leave. Seeing that things had come to an end, Elder Yun retreated the other maidens from the hall, leaving herself, Du An Shi and Jun Wuxi. Chapter 2877, Hook, Du An She remained silent for a long time. The rapid change of issues really made her feel incompetent. The thought of the good plans she had had all turned out differently. How could Du An She be happy about this? When Elder Yun saw Du An She's uncertain face, she looked at Jun Wuxi again. She could not help but sigh with a gentle smile on her face. She said to Jun Wuxi. Congratulations to Lord Yan. Since Lord Junga approved both of you and Yan Zai is willingly to marry you, this is the best outcome. Just that, previously the matter that we had discussed with Lord Yan, I wonder if Lord Yan remembers? Is it regarding the birth of a baby girl to remain with the Sacred Maiden tribe? Jun Wuxi looked at Elder Yan's expression. How would she not know her thoughts? Her motive was to make use of the dual spirit ring capabilities to give birth to a baby maiden. Regarding this, Jun Wuxi had already asked her mother about the details. There was no special reason for the origins of maidens from the sacred maiden tribe. The purity of the blood depends on fate. The more outstanding a man was matched with a pure maiden, the higher chance that they would give birth to a pure sacred maiden. But it was not absolute. Just like Jun Wuxi's maternal grandmother, Han Ziffy's as well as Han Xiu's mother, Jun Wuxi's grandmother's bloodlines in the sacred maiden tribe were as pure. They were just like ordinary tribe people. The first man to be chosen from the tribe possessed great strength but may not be as mighty. But still, a pure sacred maiden like Han Ziffy was born. At that time, the sacred maiden tribe was confused. The tribe was thinking to have maidens give birth and nurture more baby maidens. But a few years later, when Han Ziffy was learning to talk, the tribe requested Jun Wuxi's grandmother choose an outstanding man to matchmake with Han Ziffy. But in the end, she gave birth to an average maiden like Han Xiu. Maybe it's heaven's will that the number of sacred maidens in the sacred maiden tribe was scarce. There was no birth of a new sacred maiden since the existence of the last sacred maiden in the tribe. After the sacred maiden was married to his lord, a second sacred maiden was born, and Han Ziffy was born after the second sacred maiden left. This made the whole tribe extremely upset and they tried various methods. After countless guesses, they still could not figure out the reason. The reason why Ju An Shi hurriedly wanted to find Jun Wuxi was because Han Ziffy was about to marry someone. During this period of time was the highest chance that a sacred maiden could birth a new sacred maiden. Exactly. Elder Yun smiled. Yes, Jun Wuxi said lightly. That would be good. Elder Yun secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, Lord Yan was still young and didn't know much about the situation of the Sacred Maiden tribe. But given Lord Yan's capability and Yan's I got married to him, 
The tribe could not interfere if they could keep the baby maiden. There is nothing much to say about this. But the elder Duan had said before, as long as I approve of her decision, I can cultivate my psychic force in this holy land of the sacred maiden tribe. Is this true? Jun Wuxi asked as she slowly revealed her true intention. Choosing Yan's I was to solve the problem for her mother and secondly was to gain access to the sacred maiden tribe's holy land. Chapter 2878 Hooked Of course, please rest assured, Lord Yan. I'll arrange someone to take you to the holy land tomorrow. Elder Yan naturally answered without saying a word. Anyway, it was just to let Jun Wuxi enter the Holy Land to cultivate her psychic force. There was no loss to the Sacred Maiden tribe. After all, within the Holy Land, there was a difficult lord to deal with. Jun Wuxi nodded. After getting the answer she wanted, she was not interested in entertaining Elder Yan anymore. She bidded goodbye and left the hall. From the end of the banquet to the departure of Jun Wuxi. You aren't. She never said a word. She was depressed and her pursed lips revealed her dissatisfaction at the moment. Elder Juan, this matter has come to an end. We can't do anything about it. You don't need to worry about this matter anymore. No matter how inferior Yan's eye is, she is from our tribe. We still have a chance. Said Elder Yan, looking at Duan Shi's distressed face. Duan she took a deep breath as her eyes revealed her unwillingness. We know how formidable Yan Hai is. Such a person is most likely to have a new sacred maiden this time. But, why is it Yan Sai? Yan Sai's bloodline is too inferior to even compare to an average bloodline. I'm just afraid, there is no other way now. Instead of worrying about this, there is one more thing I want to ask you. Elder Yun said sharply, just go ahead and ask. Previously, Highness Ying sent someone to notify us that he will arrive when Lord Jun go and hands if we get married. Why is there no news now? Elder Yun frowned lightly. Highness Ying's identity was very delicate in the upper realms. He always appears out of nowhere. He is also crowned the son of his lord. Although his strength was not as good as that of Knight of Destruction, he could still control the top ten experts. According to rumors, Highness Ying is still young and he was not married. As far as Elder Yun was concerned, she felt that if she could get permission from Highness Ying, their maidens could even work with Highness Ying. Mentioning Highness Ying, Duan Shi's brows smoothened out a little. Highness Ying's message had just arrived yesterday. The message says that his lord has something to discuss with him so it delayed his departure time. It is estimated that it will take several days to reach the holy mountain. After a few days, Lord Jungo and the rest would have already left. Elder Yun was a little puzzled. Duan she shook her head. Although Highness Ying said that he would come at this time, it was not entirely for the Lord Jungo. When Highness Ying was previously retrieved back by his lord, he was mentally unstable. His lord keeps sending people to restore his psychic force. However, the best place to repair psychic force is the holy mountain on our holy land. Therefore, even if Lord Jung leaves, Highness Ying will come. He will remain in the holy land for a while to cultivate. Please remember to tell this to Elder Luo. Neglecting Highness Ying will not benefit the sacred maiden tribe. Elder Yun was slightly surprised and nodded immediately. You can rest assured that I will definitely inform El Luo about this matter. I will take Yan Hai directly to the Holy Land tomorrow, and inform El Luo about this matter. Okay, you just handle this. Duan Shi nodded, maybe because Highness Ying was coming. The unwillingness in Duan Shi's heart started to fade a little. Chapter 2879, Family, 1. When Jun Wuxi returned to her residence, she had no time to rest in his room. She had been blocked by Giao Chu. Jun Wuxi saw Han Zifi and Jun Ge sitting in the pavilion with Jun Wu Yao between them. She realized that Giao Chu already knew what they had done at the banquet today. Little Xi, you are so unkind. You didn't inform us that you found your parents. Are we still brothers? Giao Chu stared at Jun Wuxi and hummed angrily. Jun Wuxi couldn't help smiling. These days, she was busy trying to find a way to deal with the things in front of her. She forgot to share her joy with her friends. Her eyes slowly turned to Jun Gu and Han Zifi. A warmth of happiness emerged. Her parents. That's nice. Ah, uh, hey, 
My eyes are painful. Can you be more considerate? Previously I tried to ignore you when you showed off your affection to Jun Wu Yao. Now, looking at your parents' expressions, it really pisses me off. Giao Chu wailed hard and complained, but revealed his blessings to Jun Wuxi at the same time. Rong Luo and the others stood aside watching Giao Chu's exaggerated acting. All of them couldn't help laughing at him. They experienced the pain before, when they were young. The whole family was slaughtered, and all their parents and relatives died. They longed for family warmth, for Jun Wuxi to find back her parents. It was really fortunate. They were really happy for her. Congratulations little Xi, we really didn't expect that senior Zifi is your mother. But after seeing her appearance, we could feel it. Rong Yuo smiled. At first glance, Han Zifi and Jun Wuxi did not strike any resemblance. However, if you look closely at Jun Wuxi, it was easy to spot some similarities between their eyebrows. Jun Wuxi looked colder and hands if he was a free and easy heroine. Both their styles were equally beautiful. I didn't expect it. Jun Wuxi said with her soft voice. She expressed a joy she hadn't even noticed. Ah, I am jealous of you. What should I do? Giao Chu looked at Jun Wuxi sadly. Looking at Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao showing off their love these days, Giao Chu could still cheer himself up. He hoped that he would have a companion soon, but his parents were the treasures that he couldn't find in this life. Giao Chu's words left Hu Yao standing on the side to fall into silence. They were happy for Jun Wuxi and at the same time they had deep regrets since young. If they could grow up much earlier, their loved ones might not have left them forever. Jun Wuxi watched her friends who went through thick and thin with her and revealed her loneliness this time. The black cat that had been hidden in her body rushed out at this moment and jumped to her shoulder. Its furry tail swept Jun Wuxi's cheek and its eyes quietly looked at Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi's eyes narrowed slightly. She stepped forward and gave each of her friends a big hug. This was Jun Wuxi. For the first time, she embraced Giao Chu so proactively, a little shy, but with a strong warmth. I am your family. Chapter 2880, Family. Two. The sudden embrace of Jun Wuxi and the warm words of affection spoken made Kiao Chu and others a little shocked. However, very quickly, their facial expressions changed from shock to smiles. At least, they had this group of friends. Even if it's the end of the world, they would not abandon one another. Seeing little Wuxi having her own friends, her father and I are really happy for her. Han Zifi got up with Jun Gu and walked to Jun Wuxi. In Kiao Chu's view, Han Zifi and Jun Gu was the treasure that Jun Wuxi had recovered back. But how could it be different for them as husband and wife? Han Zifi had been most grateful for her husband's for her resurrection, her daughter's growth, and their reunion. Little Xi can have such good parents like you, as well as relatives like Grandpa Jun and Uncle Jun. We are happy for her. Giao Chu sniffled and felt a little embarrassed. He wanted to tease Jun Wuxi but did not expect that this would be the case. Your parents' hands if he looked at Giao Chu. She seemed to have found something. Giao Chu touched his nose. Hu Ya and others glanced at each other and said sullenly, Everyone is gone. Our family, all our loved ones, had been killed by treacherous people, right in front of us. But we have avenged for them. Those bastards, we have sent them off to hell. Giao Chu seemed to be cheering for himself stretching out his fist and pretending to be confident and proud. However, Han Zifi looked very distressed. As early as when she was on the island, she had noticed that the relationship between Jun Wuxi and her friends were very close. Although Jun Wuxi's temperament was cold and bad with words, they had a very strong bond that no one could ignore. To think of it, with Jun Wuxi's cold nature and her difficult experiences, if there were no friends to accompany her, she would be more lonely. Han Zifi and Jun Ge looked at each other. The couple seemed to have reached a consensus. Jun Ge stepped forward and said, Zifi and I only have Jun Wuxi. If you have no objection, we will also treat you like our children. Jun Ge's words made Hu Ya and others completely shocked. No matter how they grew up, the lack of love and the desire for family love in their hearts would never disappear. The way that Jun Ge and Han Zifi treated Jun Wuxi made them envious and made them longed for it. The expressions of her friends became a little subtle. They looked at one another. Obviously, 
These things came too sudden and difficult to accept. But in their eyes, they faintly revealed their thirst for wanting a family. They looked over to Jun Wuxi at the same time and saw Jun Wuxi nodding at them with a smile. Fi Yan swallowed her saliva and turned to Jun Gu and Han Zifi nervously, and said with a trembling voice, Father Jun, Mother Jun, good. Han Zifi and Jun Gu said together. Fi Yan's face turned red. The subtle joy made her feel as shy as an unintelligible child for a while. Now that Fi Yan had started to greet, Kiao Chu and the rest also took turns to call out with courage. For some time, the warm atmosphere in the courtyard made everyone forget the coldness brought by the snow. Jun Wu Yao was soaked with family warmth. He looked across to everyone and finally had eye contact with Jun Wuxi. Both their eyes were filled with happiness.